Two or three points I'd like to make, uh, Mr. Speaker. One, in Ohio, this ban means lifting this ban means 16,000 jobs in Ohio, almost three billion dollars in investment. Our friends in the operating engineers and the laborers who are going to do that work are supportive of this bill. I know we have some issues with the refineries, and I think we need to continue to work on that and see if we can fix that issue. We have a number of studies that say the savings to the American consumer will be anywhere from two cents a gallon all the way up to 12 cents a gallon. Columbia University, Brookings, Aspen, Resources for the Future, all are saying this is going to reduce the cost. Uh, of gas, which is a direct benefit for our, our uh, consumers and our constituents who need it as we see this huge economic squeeze for the middle class. Lastly, I've been sitting on the Defense Appropriations Committee now for a number of years, and this issue here can directly benefit our ability Gentleman's to deal with expired. what's happening in the Middle East, to deal. Can I get an additional 15 seconds? We uh, yield the gentleman from Ohio an additional 30 on the understanding that he will not play his best game against us next summer. <laughs> Gentleman is recognized for an additional 30 uh, seconds. I yield back. No, I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to say, sitting on the Defense Appropriations Committee, we sit in these classified briefings. We see what's happening with Russia. We see what Putin's doing. We see what's happening in the Middle East, the Ukraine. We need to export this oil. We need to export our natural gas. We need to have a bigger footprint in the world so that we can make sure that our allies have access to consistent energy flows coming here from the United States and creating jobs here in the United States. Michelle Florney, a CEO and founder of the Center for New American Security, former Undersecretary of Defense for Policy under President Obama, says by lifting the ban on U.S. exports, of crude oil, U.S. policymakers have an extraordinary opportunity to enhance not only our economic vitality, but also our national security.